thought uh, I thought Trey really got us off to a good start, and our whole team got off to a good start. And I thought we had some spurts where we played really well, and some spurts where we were very, very careless. And, uh, you know, I was a little disappointed, and, and I thought our defense let us down uh, several times. I didn't think we played one of our better defensive games, but rebound the ball, and I thought Julian stepped up, and made some timely shots, and uh, also made some free throws, which really helped. Obviously, I think the big story from today is these two guys. Uh, Trey, just comment on him. Uh, we've been kind of waiting on this a little bit, and you know we've seen signs, but he looked really good today. He's been working hard, and you know I think Trey's defense from the other games there haven't been big guys in the game that he could, that he matched up with. Right. And today it was a good day match up. Sometimes we've been we've been playing a little bit smaller and switching some things. It was a good matchup for Trey. Thought he did some good things. Got off to a good start, and, and uh, really got soft. And Julian, I know you know we've been kind of waiting on waiting on Julian we to fire it up there. We all have. So the last two games, I think he's played more aggressively and. We need him to keep playing like that. Where you been, Julian? How did it feel today? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just trying to get back in the groove, you know, do what I can for my team. Um, basically, I, coming into the game, we, you know, we lost three straight. I just wanted to come out and lead by example, you know, try to try to be the senior that I'm supposed to be. Were, were you looking to do more today, or did it just kind of come to you, or are you, you trying to assert yourself a little more now? Definitely. I mean, after uh, the last three games we had, like, you know, you just got to I told myself basically, you know, coming to shoot around today, I gotta, I gotta do something because okay. it's not working the way we're playing right now. And Trey, how you feeling out there? Uh, today felt great. Um, just gotta keep working and practice and get better. What, uh, what do you feel like you need to keep working on? Um, one thing, conditioning and everything else we pretty much do, like finishing around the basket. Um, previous games, I wasn't finishing well, and coach just stay on me about finishing, finishing. So. I do my best at that. Are you feeling more and more in game shape? Yes. yes. Okay. How, how did you feel to be more involved in the offense today? Um, I felt felt really good. Everybody loved to touch the ball, so that felt really good. And Julian, when he's involved the way he was today, what does that do for you when you, when you're looking to shoot? Well, for one, it just gives them gives us as guards a more open shot. You know, the bigs or you know the guards got to look to dig down when he's going. Like today, he got going early. He scored our first six, I think, and so that made it, uh, our penetration and our driving kick more open because they had to look for him on the the, the roll or whatever it may be. Joe, I guess the uh, the bad news is LaSalle was able to make some runs at you in the second half, but the good news is, you know, the guys responded yeah, every time. We did. We, I mean, our, our late game, and we had, you know, we had a timeout. We, we turned it over when we had a timeout. We, you know, we, we did some things we don't need to. They, we, we responded to every run, but we also gave them opportunities. And we didn't have some switches. We had some defensive breakdowns and some three-point plays that, we, you know, you have to eliminate. You know, they shot 47%, which is which isn't up, you know, up to what you, we need. You glad Cleo Roberts is leaving? Oh, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. Got yeah, coach. What did you make of the play that Terrell made, where he basically went coast to coast to block that shot? I mean, he's he's run down a couple of them this year. I mean, he's he's gotten more aggressive in every aspect of his game, and, and you know, he's a very good athlete. And I thought he did some some things and, and played to his athleticism today. But he's done that two or three times this year. He saved us. Starting uh, Saturday, you've got two two back to back games against some D two and, and less teams. I know it has to do with scheduling and all that. What what do you look for when when you go into those type of games? Well, I got the top twenty five team. I mean, they're twelve and one. Right, that's so they're a good so one. Yeah, they're, they're good. I think the big thing is is able to get our young guys some or all our guys. I mean, we we have not played collectively a lot together, so we need to get some some continuity and hopefully these next couple of weeks we're at home and we get some practice time. We're still not in school, so we can get a lot of repetitions and uh, get the young guys to, to see some of the things they need to see. Julian, do you have to kind of talk yourself into, you know, you've got to take these guys seriously. You know, like he said, Eckert's 12-1. They're, they're obviously a pretty good team, and then you've got uh, Weber International after that. But do you have to kind of talk to yourself a little bit? I know Joe will talk to you for you. but I mean, as a team, we're going to do what we're supposed to do, and that's what prepare, prepare for every game just like uh, it's a championship game. You know, we can't just because they're D2 or whatever it may be, that doesn't mean we can approach them and play down. We need to, you know, attack early and see what our principles are. Anything else? Double headers coming up, Brooke, just lastly, item. Double headers coming up, uh, they haven't gone on since you've been here. Is that kind of weird for you, like double headers, or does that seem kind of a cool thing? It's pretty cool. I mean, in high school, uh, you know, at my high school, we played a few double headers. It's, it's something different, but, you know, we can see the girls, hopefully they get a win, and we come out and do our best and get a win, too. And, Joe, I know you're glad to go first Saturday. 
Oh, yeah. I really wish we played them all in the afternoon. I'd play right at the tip them off at one. Yeah. Yeah. And, but you go first in a doubleheader. Where, yeah, know, I think it's, it's good. You know, the women's program has been so successful. And uh, I think it's, you know, it's good for us, good for them. And I, I, I prefer playing in the afternoon anyway. So I think it's great for our fans. Anybody else? And just how important is the final two games before conference starts for you guys to just really, like you said, you need to come together, play together. Um, how do you really finish strong before conference? The big thing would be really get some continuity. We've, you know, we've had to play different lineups, and we'll see some things that you know we've we've played about just about every style of play you could possibly see. We played against good teams. I think you know when you look at our strength of schedule and. I think the big thing really is to be here and sit here and practice and be the biggest thing so we can iron some things out when you die out.